What's going on, guys? <laughs> Ever. Yeah, I literally don't drink coffee, guys. It's so. Oh, <laughs> freak! <laughs> it hit my freaking dog. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to YouTube. Today we're gonna go over the comparison between using an iPhone versus like a, an expensive mirrorless camera, doing some real estate photography. So let's get into it. All right, so our first test, doing an exterior shot of just the front of the house. Gonna use my mirrorless camera on the tripod. Gonna use my iPhone real quick. It's freezing outside. There's dogs, so let's make this quick. Straight out of camera, haven't touched any of the settings. We're not gonna use the wide angle camera, just using the normal 1X, whatever that means. So, anyway, this is our studio. Well, upstairs at the studio, but this is the house we have the studio in. So we're just doing some test shots in here. Let's get all the lights on and we'll take some photos. So don't worry about it. it's not the cleanest, but you know, we'll go with it. Open the blinds, make it look better. So I'm just gonna get a wide angle shot of the kitchen real quick, and then we'll use my phone. Let's see, same angle, everything. Oh, let's take one with my phone real quick. Same angle, pretty much. Actually, let's do like one big wide angle. So far, it's already pretty hard to get like a big angle, like wide angle if you don't have that camera, so. We'll do one upstairs. Since it's pretty dark in the studio, we haven't opened the blinds or anything. We're just gonna not touch anything, just do it real quick. This room is pretty dark, so we'll just take a couple photos and just see how it turns out. See how it goes. Boom. All right, y'all, so I've gone through and edited all the photos from this actual camera, and then the iPhone photos, I just left them unedited straight out of the camera, as if you just walked around the house, took your photos, all right, y'all, starting out with the first iPhone photo I took of the front of the house. That looks pretty good. Like, that's not bad. Looks good. The sky doesn't look the best. Its shadows are kind of dark. Not my favorite, but, I mean, looks all right. Okay, so let's check out the photo with my camera. Did a bunch of editing with it. Sky replaced. Like, professionally edited the photo. <laughs> So there's a huge difference. Let's go back real quick. I mean, the iPhone photo isn't bad. Like definitely could improve. This is just gonna make it pop more. The skies looks way better. I was able to sky replace that, brought the shadows up, just so much better. So you can definitely see a huge difference here. So if you guys are using your iPhone, I mean, it'll work, but I definitely recommend getting professional photos to make your listings pop. Like I said again, this is straight out of the camera, haven't edited iPhone photo, so let's check it out. Looks pretty good. Windows over here are a little blown out, which I don't like. I really like when you're able to see through the window and it's not like this blown out image. The iPhone does have like HDR or whatever the heck that means. You can go look it up. I don't, I'm not the tech person. So I mean, this photo looks pretty good. It's not bad. Let's check out the um, edited version from my camera. It's like a huge difference. So I don't even know what to say. Like you guys just gotta look at it. Like, holy crap. Um, the iPhone definitely doesn't have as wide of camera. You can like first tell. So the first thing you notice, the iPhone doesn't have as wide as camera. And yes, the 12 Pro does have the wide angle camera. However, when you use that lens sometimes, it's gonna look a little distorted. You'll see some like grain in there. So really like that camera is good for like outside stuff, but inside stuff, bleh, it just looks horrible. But yes, the iPhone 12 Pro does have the wide angle camera. It's like equivalent to like the 16 millimeter or something. I don't know, I think it's like a 16 or 18 or something like that. All right, so next up, the photo I took of the front of the kitchen. Check out with the iPhone. If I just sat here, I'm gonna do like a little quick test real quick, hit auto. So it's like auto edit, just see what it does, see if it makes it a little bit better. Looks all right, like it's not bad. I do see already in the corner that the windows are all blown out and then the lights are a little blown out. So I mean, not my favorite, but I mean, looks looks all right. Now let's check out the photo I took. Like I could literally go through these all day. It's like a huge difference. It's like over here, you can see through the windows, everything looks polished, everything looks the color that they're supposed to be. Let's go back to the other photo. So you have white cabinets, you go back to the other photo. Kinda looks, ugh. 
Like, ugh, pretty bad. Here's the other wide angle I took of the room. Go back to the iPhone. It's not very wide. You can't get the whole room. Doesn't look the best. So again, big difference. Let's go to this photo real quick. See through the windows, nothing's blown out. Everything's the color it's supposed to be. Let's go to the one I took on my iPhone. It auto, ugh, I don't like it. Doesn't look good. Hate that the windows are blown out. Like, I'll just keep saying that over and over because I don't like it. And it's like very dark and blah. I mean, I can brighten that up a little bit, but you're still gonna get like the windows all blown out and then the colors look weird and your white balance is just off. All right, so I did take two photos of the studio and the studio is like pretty dark. I'm, the windows are covered up right now, so, so you don't have any light coming through the windows. So let's just see the difference. Let's go to the studio. This is taken from the corner. All right, so I'm just gonna hit auto, see what it does. Like if you just took this on your iPhone, didn't really know what you're doing, never edited a photo before, you just hit auto to see what it does. Now let's check out the photo I took with my camera. Everything just looks like polished, clean, bright. Looks a lot better. I definitely could have cleaned up the room a little bit more, but. And then I took one more picture, I think. And this is like, like lighting's horrible in here. Like if you looked around right here, it's like pitch black with all the lights on. Like it's not pitch black, but it's pretty bad. Some things I kind of wanted to point out between having like a professional real estate photographer and just walking around your house with a camera is the photographer is going to know like the good angles get the right perspective he's going to make sure that like the sky looks good if you go out there and take a photo it could be like cloudy rainy day they're going to have horrible shadows you probably didn't go to the house at the right time to take the photo just showed up whenever and your photographer is going to know like what time of day he should be there to get the right photo he's going to know what best angles to get of every room. He's gonna know like if there's something specific you want shot, he's gonna get detailed shots of it. He's gonna get all the drone shots. He's gonna take it from all the different angles to make sure that your listing looks freaking good so you can sell your listing. And this isn't to say that you can just go buy a camera from Best Buy right now and your photos are gonna look just like this. There's definitely like this huge learning curve to real estate photography. You're gonna have to learn to edit, learn to shoot. There's a bunch of camera settings. Like there's a lot that goes into shooting photos. So I definitely recommend if you're, if you're not a photographer, like finding a photographer, finding someone who knows what they're doing, unless that's something you're learning or trying to get into. Anyways guys, hope you learned something. I'll see y'all in the next one.